Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit use numbers, currency, and percentages and formulas from the module advanced formulas. So here, let's move on to our challenge. So basically here, we are going to create fields of type number and formula. So let's quickly launch our Trailhead Playground. I've already done and let's move on to the object manager. Here, uh, I have to go to, so these fields again has to be created on opportunity object. So let's go to object manager and here in the quick find, let's type opportunity. And this will filter out op opportunity object for us. Uh, then go to fields and relationship. Here we are going to create new fields. So let's simply click on new button. And here we are going to copy the name, which is radius. So I will paste here the name radius, but before that we have to select the type of the field, which will be number in our case, and then click on next. Here we have to provide the name, which I just copied, pasted in the field uh, label text area. Name will be auto-populated. That's all we had to do. Just click on next. Again, next, and then click on save and new. The next field that we have to create is another on uh, of type number uh, and it is still on opportunity object and the name that we have to take up is height. So let's go back here, select the type of the field as number, click on next, paste the name in the field label text area, name will be auto populated, click on next. Again, next, and click on save and new. So we are going to use these two fields that we just created in our formula field. So basically, we are going to put out the formula this way. So this is the uh, formula to calculate the volume of a cylinder. So based on the two fields that we just created of type number on opportunity object, this formula field that we are going to create We'll be using this formula in order to calculate the volume of a cylinder. So let's quickly go back uh, on our opportunity object and create a formula field. And we are going to name it as a cylinder volume. So just copy this. And the return type of the formula is number. Decimal places has to be kept at zero. So let's just select formula from here. Click on next. This will ask us to give out the name. So I will just paste it over here. Name will be auto-populated and here I'm going to select the return type of this formula field as numbers. Decimal has to be changed from zero, uh, 2 to 0. Make sure it is uh, it has 0 decimal places and then click on next. Now here we are going to put out the formula. So what I'm going to do is I will just simply copy this formula which has been provided in our challenge. So let's copy this and going back here in the uh, Formula text area, I will just paste this. Now, these are the variables. We have to replace them with the API name of our fields, which we just created a few minutes back. So radius field has to be replaced with the radius uh, number type of field, which we created. So first of all, just select this. So whatever fields that we are going to select uh, will be automatically replaced by that. So uh, as of now, if you can see, first of all, we are on simple formula, uh, uh, tab. So we have to just switch it over to advanced formula. Now here, this will give out an option to insert fields. So first of all, just select this radius and click on insert field. So here, if you go to alphabet R and there it is, the radius field, which we just created, click on insert button and this will replace the radius variable with the radius field API name. Just copy this and replace it here as well. Now height again has to be replaced with the height field, which we just created. So select this again and go to insert field. And here go to H alphabet and select height field from here, click on insert. And this height field will be added. Now the last thing that we have to do over here is we have to replace these cross signs uh, 
uh, with the multiplication operator. So here, just select this uh, cross sign over here and go to insert operator button. Click on this and here we have to select the multiply uh, operator just select uh, click on this and this will be replaced by the multiple uh, multiply operator just copy this and replace for the others uh, as well so i'm going to replace it one by one here as well there you go just uh, now click on checks and text button and we should probably not get any error there you go there are no errors uh, just go to top uh, again uh, i'm sorry bottom and there will be the next button just click on this and you will be asked for certain permissions so we are not going to change anything over here as well just click on next again click on save and that's all we had to do for our second unit challenge uh, so basically uh, this these this was the uh, formula field that we had to create and you can uh, Test this field uh, in, on your opportunity layout as well. When you will give out the radius, uh, give out a radius in the radius field and height. Uh, this formula will be automatic. This field will contain cylinder volume will be automatically calculated uh, since it is a formula type of field. That's all we had to do. Just click on check challenge button and hopefully we should be able to pass this challenge as well. Let's just wait. There you go. Our unit has been completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you.